Well, we still got a bit of time, so let's go ahead and see. So, the Heaven Song campaign isn't unlocked. So you have to do Dark Skies and Rising Tides before doing this one. Okay. Well, Rising Tides. A band of outlaws set sail to uncover a sinister plot gripping the Saffron Isles. Uh... What did you say your names were again? Oh gosh, did we not say earlier? I'm Freddy, and this is my business partner, uh... Eddie! Freddy and Eddie. You'll have to forgive Eddie, he's a bit touched and don't say much. He's... we's just your humble traders, you see. Trying to make an honest living in the old Spiles Isles of Saffron. Alright, calm down, we don't need your whole life story. Doesn't matter what you're here for anyway. Ocean's closed. What? Under whose authority? Empress Tenry. The Saffron Islands are closed to trade and leisure until further notice. What? She can't stop us from travelling in a boat. Whoa, was that a threat? I heard them threaten us, didn't you? Heard it plain as day. Threatening an Imperial naval officer is a capital crime. What my partner means is, we're very sorry for the trouble, can you let us go with a warning? Hmm. You're merchants, are you? Let's make a trade. A cut of the gold you've got on you, and we might look the other way. Oh, a trade. Yeah, a bribe. What'll it be? The pouch or the slammer? Huh, if those are the other options, then I guess it can't be helped. What the? Get back! Damn, point blank rifle. They shot me? That's illegal, isn't it? Obviously. Capture them! Alright. Beach combat. This campaign introduces a new class of unit, sea units. Most land-based units cannot attack enemies out at sea, even if the sea unit is right next to land. However, any land unit can attack a sea unit that's docked on a beach tile. Give up! We've got you surrounded! Not on your life! Attack! Da -da -da. We can deal with the other ship's boss, leave it to us. Defeat the Heavensong Navy. And keep the barge in perfect shape. Determine whether giants can swim. Alright. How would I know whether- Oh, you! You're a giant. Let's see. Alright. Rifle units are powerful long-range infantry. They're unable to attack air units, but can shoot units out at sea. The enemy spearman is in range of your rifleman's attack. However, riflemen are unable to attack units in forest terrain. Okay. And then there's this one. 45. What's their range again? 9 range. Okay. Critical hit when the target is in the center of the rifleman's sights. Okay. So 45. 67. Okay, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yeah, so 5 spaces away is a crit. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So. Let's do this. Uh huh. And yes, this is a riverboat. Cost effective for neutralization structures. Crit when target is adjacent to a structure. Attack. Our ships! Well, you still got another one. The real question is, is how do I get the giant to determine to be swimming? It's destroy the ship when it's got the giant inside. Yeah. Uh, keep the barge in perfect shape as well, so it's like... Uh, yeah, boat's able to transport across the water. So a barge and a riverboat are different. I see. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and wait here. And then get a crit on the spare unit. And pitch off. Hmm. 
Hmm, I could have done a ton more damage if I used my critical hits. Maybe I should use the tile info screen to brush up my technique. Well, yeah, there's literally no way to do that from attacking there, is there? I have to go over here. I don't think I have the range. Alright. Uh, keep the barge safe. Alright, so that didn't go quite to plan. Might want to work on your acting skills, boss. What? You think it's my fault? Well, you are the only one who skips improv nights at the clan hall. So they go for the alchemist, the spearman. Oh, the giant could cross over. That's interesting. Who are you working for? Firebird? The Oracle? What? You're talking nonsense! Alright, um... That's the thing. How do I get... Hang on. Determine if giants can swim. Is that your groove? Launch a unit into the air, dealing 50% groove damage on adjacent enemies on impact. Right, okay. It's so use the groove to do that. Okay. Fair enough. So... Rifleman unit. Rifle units have limited ammunition. They can only fire three shots before they must reload. You could reload after every shot fired. I suppose I could. Uh, oh, they're at sea. Okay. Uh, yeah, beach combat only. Uh, I don't remember... Um, Riverboats existing in the first game. But well, I suppose it doesn't matter too much. The real question is, is how do I keep it in perfect shape? It's like, attack this, 245, attack this, 245. What if I was five spaces away? Oh, I can't move and attack at the same time, can I? Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Right, that's beach tile. Hmm. Put the barge... Let's see. I want to put the barge somewhere that they can't get hit by the boats. That's open sea. Ah, it's like, yeah, uh, I need to move this rifle unit here and reload, most likely. Right, okay, that works. So, attack. Or oh, do I want to move out of the way? Ooh, I think I want to move out of the way. I do have 900 gold, though. Right, so let's see. Reload here. Move the boat unit here. 46% is not enough to do crits. Uh, so let's move to the side. Attack. Ha! Too easy! And then, what do I do? 55% golem? They've got five movement. One, two, three, four. So I kind of want to keep the rifleman there. And I'll put an alchemist here. But they do... How much do they do? 135 to a rifleman? So I want to attack with Wolfar. Okay. So when Wolfar's groove is ready, I'll knock him into a, a C tile. Uh, attack. Might as well. If you'd voted for my plan, we'd be a dozen miles away by now. But my plan had costumes. Costumes? So you are working for the Oracle. What are you going on about? It's not suicide, is it? Is it? No. One, one HP, though. 
the riverboat's also gone for warfare as well. Dog is going for the rifleman. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Alright. We need to pull Wolfar back. How much movement have you got? 89%. So let's wait. I can kill the dog quite easily. Uh, let's see. What's that? 77? Yeah. Out of the way. Yes, yeah, so they can't attack and move at the same in the same turn. So get rid of dog. Alright, so what are we doing now? Yes, so I can bait them towards me there. That's good. So let's do this. Barge, stay still. Look, boss, all I'm saying is you could be a bit more creative with your plans. Creative? Your collar, hat, and a pair of dirty trousers? Creative! I thought Freddy's disguise was pretty convincing. Oh, thanks, mate. The name's Bill, though. I lied before. What? Never would have guessed. Hmm. Sorry, I have a, a sneeze in my uh, nose, and I'm trying not to sneeze. Enough with the pleasant banter. First one of you scum to give up the location of the Oracle's hideout gets a pardon from the Empress. Mate, I love a good old-fashioned backstabbing, but we have no idea who you're talking about. Ooh, they're good. Ah, fine, if you punks want to rot in prison, be my guest. Looks like you've got your groove up, boss. Wolfar's groove allows him to knock one unit onto another tile with his hammer. The affected unit deals damage to surrounding enemies when it lands. So they've gone for the rifleman. Oh, they've killed themselves. No, no, they haven't. Okay, it's an indirect unit. Alright, that's fine. All good. Alright, so... I need to move this unit away. Uh, reload. Alright, how far can I get your... Uh, open sea? Oh! Ooh, nice downswing, boss. So, determine where the giants can swim. And the last thing is to keep the barge in perfect shape. That's a bit tricky. Let's see. So, 32%. Hmm. Oh, when it's in the center of the site, does that mean in a straight line? Possibly. Alright. Uh, 60%. Attack for 32. Okay. And then attack the dog. Alright, I'm pretty sure we can get three stars on this. Who else? Yeah, the barge just stays still. Yeah, that's fine. That's also fine. Okay. Yeah, it's when it's in a straight line. So that's 54, so I might as well attack this one, and then attack this one, uh -huh. alright, Wolfar can kill this one, no, I can't, because it's not on a beach tile, yes, it's on a sea tile, okay, So in order to keep the barge healthy, we push them down. Because they have, what, five movement? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so they can't get touched. Warfar does this. Alchemist does this. Oh, it stopped raining. Spare unit dies. So the last thing is to take out the riverboat. And we can do that. This turn. Here I come! Ta-da! 
Retreat! Mark my words, Tealbeard. We'll hunt down all your kind, and when we catch you, the Empress will show no mercy. Keep the barge in perfect shape. Woo! We did it. Cherry Stone Courtyard. One week earlier. My queen, they're here. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Send them in. <laughs> How lovely to see you all. Caesar! And lovely to see you too, Wolfar. What's this all about then? You couldn't have just sent a letter. Outlaws can read, you know. Yes, right. Um, Emmerich? Children, why not take Caesar out for a walk while we speak to your father? I... If this is another one of your odd jobs, your forget it. We didn't ask for charity. My clan can manage without being lapdogs for the crown. Aye. No offence to the dog. Oh, believe me, Caesar was our first choice. However, <sighs> this is the sort of job that requires discretion. Hmm. Aye, now that's interesting. <sighs> it's nothing illicit. Merely technically not permitted by international law. Aye. Aye, out with it. We receive reports that scores of Heaven Song ships are headed east. Warships, airships, thousands of marines. The Empress is preparing for something. We haven't a clue what. Sounds like that's between you lot and her. But that's the thing, Empress Tenry hasn't said a word. We are the Empire's closest ally and we haven't heard a thing. It's a bit concerning. No concern of mine. Whatever awful geopolitical conflict ye lot are staring up, leave us outlaws out of it. Wolfar, please, we're not asking you to fight for us. Just to sail a ship east and report what you find. No conflict, promise. Head back at this first sign of danger. I did it. Things are busy with the clan. And I've already got my hands full with the bands. Surely you can leave them with your mother for a time. She... Alia. She's been gone a long time. It's just us now. I'm sorry. I apologise. I wasn't aware. Errol and all are more than welcome to stay with us at Cherrystone. Mm-hmm. What's about payment? We cannot waste gold on sea fancies for royals. Yes. The kingdom would pay for everything, of course. <laughs> Our ships can reach the Saffron Islands in a fortnight. What? Though you'll need to fly your own sails. Huh? The Saffron Islands? That's that's where we're going. Yes. The Heaven Song Navy is clearly protecting its colonies there. But from what? I'll do it. I'll go. Hola, Errol. Hmm. He knows we're not paying for a vacation, right? So that's interesting. So technically, this is supposed to be done. Well, after Dark Skies, because it's chronological, right? Or is this... I suppose this is actually taking place si simultaneously, in that Errol and Ola are doing their thing, and Wolfar's doing his. You unlocked additional wall lore about Wolfar. Alright, that was Act 1, Mission 1, West Checkpoint. Moving on to... Act 1, Mission 2, Abandon All Hope. Exhausted from their voyage, Wolfar and his crew settle down for the night to rest. Hey, boss. Mercia told us to turn back if we ran into trouble, didn't she? Aye, your point. Well, uh, remember earlier? The trouble? We ran into it? Huh? Trouble? That? <laughs> Minor inconvenience. And we handle it, did we not? Why are we doing this, boss? You don't even like Mercia. Look, we'll reach Saffron in a couple of days. We'll head home a day after that. Agreed? I want to vote. Ugh, oh, fine, fine. All in favour of heading home for a pint of soup, say aye. All those for dying at the hands of the Heavensong Imperial Navy. Bill, you know I don't like voting on a full stomach. Can we sell this tomorrow? Fine by me. Good night, boss. Night, fellas. Aye. Aye. Ooh. Boats in the night.
Lieutenant Umibozu, what have we here? Pirates. <laughs> There's only one crew out there that rank as these dogs. Wake them up. I want a fair kill. You heard the lieutenant? Wake up your dogs. An ambush. A boss. What should we do? Fight like hell. Hope we win. Nothing more to it than that. We should at least use the tile info screen on that guy. He looks dangerous. Defeat Lieutenant Umibozu. Decorated veteran of the 3020 Saffron Rites wields a weapon of unknown provenance, the Ningyo Bident. Unit gains plus two attack range at the start of each turn. Unit regains 25 health. That's not a mini commander. That is a commander. Keep all of Wolfar's starting units alive. Find a hidden treasure. Well, considering I don't know where the hidden treasure is, I very much doubt I'll be able to do that. Hmm. All right. So, what are we going to do? So, Lieutenant Ubibozu is a mini commander, and it can move, well, I'm assuming, yeah, anywhere in the ocean. Hmm. Here I come. Here I come. Alright, so that's the first thing. But then, it's like... Attack, 108 on that one. Four on that one. Let's see. Yeah, I want to move the barge. Alright, let's do this. So what is safe? Below Wolfar safe? Not technically. Okay. Alright, the real issue is where there's a boat go. There's no safe place for the boat to be. Alright, let's see. Above the rocks? Okay, above the rocks is actually safe. Yeah, so we'll move... Here, I think. Yeah. Move here. Then, yeah, I am not going to try and waste time finding hidden treasures when I literally have no idea where they are. Uh, let's put this here. There, and then the alchemist can go here as well. Resisting arrest. Good. No prison for you, but the bottom of the sea. So that's fine. Uh -huh. right. Wolfa, this ain't good. Alright, so let's see. Four movement, four movement. So I kind of need to kill this swordman if I want to keep the rifleman alive. Right, let's see. Put them here. Uh, yeah, crit won't kill from there. Let's see. I have to move them to make sure they don't get hit by something else. Let's reload. Uh, is it worth making the alchemist take a hit? Frog can't hit. So wait. Wait. We've got 600 gold. So the corner of the beach is safe. One, two, three, four, five. Four. Slows protector units. Yeah. So barge goes here. Yeah, the rifleman won't die. So this is okay. And we'll keep the alchemist here for now. Where is he? Where is your captain? You know the sky boss? Absolutely not. Him? I have no time for weaklings. You know the one I seek. He cannot evade me forever. Right, so rifleman takes a hit. Still alive. Oh, the riverboat. I didn't check the riverboat. Mind the barge! We can't lose it! It's the only way we've got. 
Oh, they attack at range as well. Damn. Hmm. So the plus two attack range that Umibozu's got is actually on top of that. We're outnumbered, Wolfar. We've handled worse before. Whatever Cherry Stone's paying us, it ain't worth it. Bye. Huh? Hey, Aki, are those some of our guys on the islet? There isn't even a raid tonight. What are those numbskulls thinking? <sighs> Alright, Jan Jack, let's clean up this mess. Haha! -ha, we're going down! Alright, well, that's handy. Review Riverboat, yes. So. They do a fair bit of damage, but only on beach combat. But otherwise, 50 to another riverboat. But I can't actually even reach it. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, turtles. Powerful naval unit built to conquer the water. Critical when in deep sea with terrain. Yes. Cross enemy lines. Useful for rushing units with large attack range. Uh, I think turtles are the equ equivalent of submarines. 190, and that's deep sea, yep. Yeah. 104 on them, yep. Yeah. Okay, this rowboat can attack. That range is terrible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why can't they attack? Oh, it costs two. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Well, that's another deep sea terrain thing. All right, fair enough. Uh, so let's attack. Splishy splashy. And then Wolfar can't attack because they're not on a beach, sea tile. Do a crit on this one. Uh, okay. Kill this. Well, you're a frog unit, so there's not, not actually any point doing this, is there? Because they can go in deep sea? Yeah. So I'm actually probably better off pulling units back a bit. Let's see, how much do you do? To a boat you do 10 to 25, the most likely. Anyway, so wait, wait, find a hidden treasure. Oh yeah, I forgot there's these guys on this side as well. So kill that riverboat. Okay. Yeah, I've got no idea where this treasure is, and it would take ages to try and find it, so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the barge this way. Actually, did I get hit by the riverboat? No. So, I'll pull them here. Pull Wolfar there. Then, let's see, put swordsman here, rifleman there, and then do heal here. So that should be enough to keep everyone alive. 